Hello YouTube, Luke 5 here, and welcome to my video about my pixel display, or whatever it's called, I don't really know what it's called. But anyway, this, this is going to be like a little mini-series of me just making videos whenever I do something new, and I'm basically going to be making a scrolling pixel screen thing. So, you like enter your letters, and then you press a button, and they scroll across here. And I am copying the guy who did it on the forums. I saw the a forum, a Minecraft forum Digital Diamond a while back, and it was a guy who uh, made some made a machine where you press certain letters, or you press buttons for letters, and then you press a button or whatever, and it uh, it displays, it goes, it scrolls across the screen. So I'm not copying his actual, like, redstone, I'm just copying his idea. So, just wanted to tell you that. I'm, I'll be making all the redstone on my own, maybe with some help from my friend. But anyway, this is the pixel display that I made. Uh, I'll just sh I think it's a little bit bigger than it needs to be. I'm not sure though. Since I didn't really use any tutorials for this, it's kind of made it. But yeah, it might be a little bigger than it needs to be. But each one of these levers corresponds to one redstone torch. So this redstone torch corresponds to this lever. So we flip that lever and this torch goes on. So I'll just make the letter L real fast. And you can see the letter L is displayed. Actually it should probably go down one. So just just to make it a little in the middle for uh, to make it look better. So there. I'll change it to night so you can actually see it. But anyway, now I need to make some RAM and uh, yeah, stuff like that. So for RAM, you need like a cup, a lot of uh, D flip flops. And this is a D flip flop right here. This is the output right here, and this is these are the inputs. So if I put a redstone torch here, the output turns on. And if I take it away, it turns off. And if I put a redstone torch here, the output locks. So I lock the output. Now I put a torch here, and the output doesn't change. But if I take this away, and I put a torch here, it'll change. And then I can lock it and take this away, and the output will stay on. So that's basically how RAM is made, as I understand it. Also, uh, yeah, so this is just the first step in mini, and it's going to probably take a while. But as I said, I'll be making update videos. This is just the first little video in the series. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.